genes. In most gene therapy studies, a normal gene is inserted into the genome to replace an abnormal disease-causing gene. A carrier molecule, called a vector, must be used to deliver the therapeutic gene to the patient's target cells. Currently, the most common vector is a virus that has been genetically altered to carry normal human DNA. Viruses have evolved a way of encapsulating and delivering their genes to the human cells in a pathogenic manner. Scientists have tried to take advantage of this capability and manipulate the virus genome to remove disease-causing genes and insert therapeutic genes. That's fascinating. Please go on. Thank you. Target cells, such as a patient's liver or lungs, are infected with the viral vector. The vector then unloads its genetic material, containing the therapeutic human gene into the target cell. The generation of a functional protein product from the therapeutic gene restores this target cell to a normal state. Could you give us a brief summary of where the technology is today and where it's headed tomorrow? Well, currently, the FDA has not approved any gene therapy product for sale. Unfortunately, over the last several years, there have been some unfortunate deaths associated with gene therapy. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. So currently, research is going on to try to reduce these incidents. Right now, gene therapy should be thought of only as an extension of current medical practices and not as some revolutionary silver bullet to cure all diseases. So what do you think are going to be the implications for populations and for society of using genetic therapy and genetic counseling in the future? Um, I think genetic therapy would be great for alleviating any severe genetic disorders, especially for the patients and for their family. Um, however, I sort of wonder what would happen if we had the option of fixing any gene we wanted, whether it be a bad gene or just we didn't like something about ourselves. Um, we may start using gene therapy much like we use plastic surgery today. So how do you think that medical practices such as gene therapy could affect human populations in the future? What are the social implications? Well, I think overall these medical practices make people feel like they don't need God and that God is not important. And what is society without a God to look up to? Thank you. How do you think that medical practices such as gene therapy could affect human populations in the future? What are the social implications? The government is trying to erode the dignity of the individual and corrupt the fundamental nature of human life. If they succeed, they could create an isogenic class of the elite individuals primed to rule the nation. And if it's not the government, it will be these, these drug companies with their billions of dollars. Did you know that this miraculous gene therapy you're proposing can cost $500,000 per patient? I don't really see a family of four with a single mother being able to afford that, do you? And of course, they're all tied together, the drug companies, the insurance companies, and the government. You gotta give me that tape! They're gonna give me! They're gonna give think that medical practices such as gene therapy will have an effect on human populations in the future? What are the social implications? Shoot, honey, social implications? I don't know. I have two kids at home and I'm a very busy mom. I don't have time to think about society. Dang. <laughs> are you trying to mess up my time on TV? <laughs> so, what do you feel are the future implications for populations and even for society at large? Well, if I remember correctly, and I might have to check my notes on this, but uh, studies have shown that certain traits such as alcoholism, criminality, uh, sexual deviance, rudeness, impropriety, usage of, usage of ex expletives, are all correlated between parent and child. We have the responsibility, in my view, uh, for future generations to protect them from all this, these threats. Gene therapy and other genetic tools will allow us to improve the genetic composition of man. <coughs> Excuse me. So that uh, future generations will not have to handle such serious and egregious behaviors. And until that time that we develop that, it's so disheartening when people try to act superior. It makes it so much more difficult for those of us who really are. Excuse me, doctor, we just have one more question. How do you think that medical practices such as gene therapy will affect human populations in the future? But in particular, what are the social implications? That's a great question, Kate. It's really insightful. I think there are obviously a lot of ethical concerns associated with gene therapy. It could have a lot of good society for society, but there could also be a number of negatives associated. In the future, when gene therapy becomes more prevalent, we really need to think about these ethical concerns and address them seriously. Thank you for your time. Eureka! I've done it! Well, we certainly got a range of opinions on genetic counseling and gene therapy. For the 6 o'clock news, this is Caitlin Kite in Williamsburg.